Hello everybody, Lady Badger here. Stay crazy for those of you who don't know me. I am Lady Badger and this is a Badger's Den. Although briefly we'll have a new Badger's Den. I am taking a break because I'm trying to paint a hole inside of a house by myself and there's not enough hours in the day. I am on shift this weekend. I usually let you guys know. So anything that you're interested in today will ship out on Monday. I'm going to put everything in the description box. It should already be down there. So, I'm getting a lot of Canadian interest. So, I will be quoting prices for U.S. and Canadians. So, our Canadian sisters and brothers will know what they're... Uh, will have the same benefits and know what it's going to cost to come to them as well. I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to write down what I'm quoting. So what it is, is it's going to be the base price plus 40. So there was one instance where it did not cost me $40 to ship a little tiny box, a little tiny purse, didn't weigh anything. Um, so I had USPS send that extra money over so that they wouldn't have to pay duties and taxes. So we'll see how that works out. I haven't heard back yet. I don't know, maybe there's $10 lost in limbo. I'm not sure. <laughs> So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I just want to let y'all know. I said let's get started, but pain sucks. Man, does it suck. So I had to do EMT and first responder training yesterday, so I didn't get a day off or we would have had a live today. But I didn't have no time to prepare because my job, you know, thinks that they can schedule things like that on my off time. Next month is going to be horribly busy for me. So I apologize now. So we'll get them in when we can. I would like to start with a tote bag. Or no, it's actually a satchel. This is a badger. A badger redo because when I got it, it was an absolute hot mess with you know science experiments and some funkiness so I just want to throw something else out there when I store my bags one of my little tricks I'm gonna let you in on I wipe the bag the inside of the bag down if it's not dirty sometimes I will use an organic uh, baby wipe you know if because I, I can't find my little sucker router thing so I will wipe it out Take a plastic bag. You go get yourself some Arm & Hammer, Downy, doesn't matter, the pots, the, the little doohickeys that you put into your washing machine to make everything all fresh. The little They look like little plastic discs. You just put enough in a baggie and close it up. Take a sharp object, a fork. I use a fork. Just poke holes in the baggie. So, they, you know, so if you move the bag around or you do something, that is how I store my bags. So I put that down inside there. And then that's how I store my bags. It does two things. It keeps away, the mustiness away uh, from wherever you're, you know, you're storing your bags. It keeps the liner fresh. You know, it does a really good job. And that's what I do. So the longer it is stored, doing that method, the downside of that method is, is sometimes... If it's stored for a long period of time, it can when you when you open the bag, it can be extremely perfumey, very snuggly. Because this month I'm using the the little snuggle ones, very snuggly. Um, it will dissipate. I'm just gonna leave the bag open for about 24 hours. It'll dissipate. All it is is the the laundry fresher thing. Um, you can use, do that with a dryer sheet. You know, I've seen people just throw that in there, but caution. Dryer sheets will leave an oil residue that you will not be able to get out of your liner. So a little trick is put it in a Ziploc bag, close it up, poke holes in it. Put just a little bit of those things in the bottom just so you can, like, smell it through the baggie. Drop it down in the purse and forget about it when you store it. I'm just warning you now, it, if, if you're putting them in totes like I do and you store them like I do, they get they're compacted and what have you, it, it can be a little perfumey. So I know I sold a lot of bags in the last two weeks. Um, 
tote bags, moving bags. Those, some of those bags were stored for quite some time. Uh, when I was packing them, I was like, woo, holy snuggle. You know, and, or, you know, some of them had gain. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. So it, that is, that is what that is. And that's how I prefer to, I don't like to add mothballs to anything. I don't like to do anything like that. The stinks. So little tip for you. Wipe your liner out real good. You know, with a, with an organic baby wipe that's unscented, doesn't have anything in it. Make your little, make your little homemade little satchel. Drop it down in there, then store your bags. You can even, you know, stuff your bags and then put it in there. Everything in there is going to, you know, get, get scented. But it will keep it fresh like laundry. That's how I like to do it. And I apologize now because some of you are going to open your boxes. You're like, whoo! <laughs> no, I did not run your bags through the wash machine and the dryer because that's what it smells like. And I'm having a cappuccino mulatte. It's all syrup. There's no coughing in there. But it tricks my body into that. What can you do? So, I have missed you guys. Good things are happening over at the other homestead. Fencing's up, all that other good stuff. <coughs> so, don't forget, you guys. Some people are forgetting. I love nothing more than to decorate a bag. I have this giant box. Bah, bah, of fun stuff. Now, I got it from Timu. They're nothing, you know, spectacular. But I can decorate your bag. I also have, if you have bags that have, that are missing the zipper pulls or you're having little issues and things like that, I do have. I did order those. So if you need it, let me know. I'll drop them in there. <clears throat> so you name it, I probably got it. So my haul for this week, I am going to start with the makeover bag, and I like to call it the makeover bag. Look at this baby. When I got this bag, it was covered, and I don't know what it was, but it smelled like a foot. So what I did is I took the liner, yeah, I did, I pulled the liner out, and I actually had to clean that and I had to oxy that. So I will show you that. It's looking really good. I'm not sure how old this bag is. Got it at the Goodwills. It was yellow. And as I took my cleaner and I just went over it and over it and over it, more yellow stuff come off. And, I, you know, there was some things I couldn't do. Can you see it on there? There is right there. Right there. See that now? Can't even see it unless I point it out. Some of the corners darkened. They got darker as I cleaned it. But they were, they were horribly bad. It was like they were covered. It, it looked like mud and grass. Uh... And it just smelled like an old sweat sock. So I don't know if they use it to put their gym stuff in or whatever. It's not a small bit. Let me. Put it like all up in my grill. I'm going to push it back just a little. There we go. See this bag. But now Mr. Michael. Is looking real good. I was at Marshall's yesterday, and I seen a bag half this size, the exact same thing. They wanted a hundred and thirty-seven dollars, one thirty-seven ninety-nine for a little tiny crossbody bag. Are you kidding me? Look at this big old bad boy. So it is not beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bag now. So if you don't, you can't even, 
you don't mind the corners, it's fine. I used to carry religiously the dark, the dark satchel with the orange leather thing. I'm not, I don't remember who bought it. I want to say Melanie did. Yeah, I don't know. I loved that. I used it. I used it and used it and used it. There is so much stuffing in here. This thing holds a massive, massive amount. So, I did this. Oh, let's try to. It's going to get darker if I do that. Back it up. So, I did this um, just to kind of. You know, relax a little bit. It's been very stressful. Look at him now. Look at him now. And it smelled like snuggle. <laughs> but this actually got a scrub. So it probably smells like Tide. I do use the Tide. Because it had, I don't know if it was food particles or, I don't know, it smelled like a gym, I don't know, it was, it was horrible. So you got a zipper pocket, two open pockets, and two more open pockets on the other side. Big old satchel. So, this is my Badger Rehab for the week. And a big old tote. And you know... I can't find my tape measure again. I'm sorry. But here's my head. Here's a satchel. <laughs> anyway. But I love it. If, if it doesn't, I put a lot of love and time into this bag. I mean, it was, you know how these can yellow and get McNasty, just yellow. I found a way to remove that. <laughs> so. I've got the product. That is going to do that. So, if it doesn't sell, then that's that's okay. Because I put a lot of time into this. So, Michael and I here have, now have his, really, you know, you can tell when you're busy. When you can't find your favorite sports bra and you pull it out of a bag. I'm telling you. <laughs> Usually when I'm doing my rehabs, I like to, it had to have been in with the, the towels. Because when I do my rehabs and what have you, I like to stuff the bags with really soft towels. And I, I do that just in case. I think it's dry, but it might still be a little wet where I can't reach it or I can't feel it underneath and in between the leather and the... I do that for that reason. And I just washed a whole, whole load of those with my sports bras and lost my bra. And it ended up in here. <laughs> so there's a feedsies. See what I mean by the corners? But honestly, it's not as bad as it looks on camera. But there's no more yellowing, there's no more science experiment. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's got, let's see, the handles are all conditioned and clean now. And I am looking. Make sure. It looks like we've got a pen mark or something. Oh, it's coming off. Maybe a scratch. Right there, full disclosure. But the Michael Kors Rehab Duffel, I am asking 80 for. I put a lot of time into it. Probably a good 15 hours. Just meticulously cleaning it up. It, it was gross. I really like the Michael Kors satchels. I don't know if a lot of you know that about me. Um, I like... You know how they're versatile. You know, I could take mine out, 
with rain and stuff like that. You can put a ton in there. Yeah. So when I first started doing this, and you guys first met me, that was one of the very first Michael Kors that I sold was was the satchel. Here, <laughs> ziggity bog, ziggity dog, he's a ziggity dog. Come here, Ziggy. <laughs> you guys want to see Ziggy dog? Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come say hello. Come here. He's not gonna come say hello. He's not gonna come say hello because you know the German Shepherd's gotta be a mean, gotta be a giant meanie. <laughs> so, next one is brand new with tags for my Carl fans. I got some Carl fans. I can't hold on to Carl Lagerfeld very long. I do have for my Carl fans. Let me know who you are. I got the keychains. Um, Marshalls had it was about two or three months ago, they were doing the the wipeout and bring out old and, you know, get rid of the old and do the new. And I scored some heavy old keychains. And they're like, just be heavy old keychains. And I will do those for giveaways if you want. Um, I got them for like, the price tag on was like 35 bucks. Now, who pays 35 bucks for a little keychain? I mean, seriously, for Carl Lagerfeld. Okay. My Carl Lagerfeld fans probably. No, 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 no. Um, probably would, but, okay. Good grief. Sorry, Klaus decided that he was going to have, you know, himself a bark fest. So here it is. Brand new with tags for my Carl fans. There is one of you that buys all my Carl stuff without fail every time. So I, when I can get it. At a decent price. And when I say a decent price, I mean a decent price because he's very expensive for a non-leather stuff having guy. So, but this is really cute. I like it. So, he retails for $178. And I have not taken the stuffing or anything out. So, anything that would come with this bag is still in there. We've got Carl Lagerfeld paper. <laughs> So, it has, it looks like, some fun stuff. Oh, so let's take this out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, still has stuff in there. I'm not going to be able to go. The silica packets, don't eat those guys. So this bag, it has, oh, you can see it. There it is couple of card slots and it looks like a bow yeah it's got a bow a couple of card slots really nice interior and we have a card each product is unique and special we recommend you handle this product with care limit exposure to heat sunlight and wet surfaces okay so don't carry it in the summer and don't take it outside <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's really cool. So if you're interested in Carl, my Carl fans, you know who you are. I'm going to put this stuff back in here. I've... MSRP 178, I said, was it? Yeah. I can't remember what I said three seconds ago. It's a problem. Put your, your Carl paper back in there. That's important. This is a really beautiful bag for not being leather. It is quite nice. So, Mr. Carl, MSRP. I'm only asking 70. So, I will ship this to you, brand new. You get it for me for 70. I have all the paper for all come out of the satchel. Good grief. <laughs> Next, I got from another reseller. And it's really cool. I've got sparkly satchel bag. This is cool. Now the arm is not adjustable, but it is removable if you wanted to carry it just like a satchel. Look at that, it's all sparkly. And this is a Rebecca Minkoff. Perfect condition. Isn't this neat? This is a neat bag. 
Beautiful bag. Genuine leather. Love the details. Somebody needs to get this bag. This bag is cool. Inside is an animal print. You have a zipper pocket, an open pocket, and a big old chunky Rebecca Minkoff placard there. Beautiful on the inside. This side here has two open pockets. The other side has your zipper pocket and an open pocket. And then you have a great big pocket here in the front. Love the animal. This is a one cool Rebecca Minkoff bag. You haven't been coming across with a really cool Rebecca Minkoff bags lately, but this one was key. So it's beautiful, beautiful. Got this from another reseller. And I'm just happy as punch. It's nice. This would be cool. You could put a, like a, oh, you find a really cool guitar strap that would match that. Super soft leather leather. Awesome, Rebecca Mingo. There you go. <laughs> Ziggy dog. He likes to just bark anything that moves. He's upset because he can't be outside because he found a way to escape the fence. <laughs> So the Rebecca Minkoff satchel, the Rebecca Minkoff satchel, hello Klaus, come here, <laughs> okay, <laughs> the Rebecca Minkoff satchel for like the 15th time, stop, oh my goodness, I didn't write it down, all right, well the Rebecca Minkoff satchel is $70. I didn't write it down. I'm going to have to add this. <laughs> no wonder I can't find it. And then class come to visit. So next is I'm putting a sale. I'm having a little sale. Is our Kate Spade crossbody with a hot pink. You remember this one? I showed this one. Beautifully made bag. Unbelievably beautiful. I had it, um, I think I do believe, if I remember correctly, I had 95 on her, maybe even 110. Today, well, she's going to be on sale for 80 bucks for today only. Inside, she has a zipper pocket and an open pocket, leather interior, hot pink leather interior. This is one beautifully made bag. On sale today, $80. You've seen this one before. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous crossbody. A little too small for me, or I would be keeping it because this is one beautifully made bag. Look at that. Unbelievably gorgeous bag. So, she is on sale. So, now, so we got the hobo. He is still on sale. The Half Moon is still on sale. I've shown this before. Beautiful, beautiful, inside and out. So today, Mr. Hobo is on sale for $60. He was at $75 or $80. He has two open pockets on one side. We got the Hobo. Zipper pocket underneath it. Nice and clean on the inside. Smells like my dryer. <laughs> so beautiful thick leather different it's the big thick pebbled leather it's not like the glove tan smooth leather like most hobos are this one is different it is heavier it's not a heavy bag but i mean it does have some weight i mean it has hardware so but this is a top-notch hobo bag so i'd rather not pack it up but I will, because he is gorgeous. And then we won't see him again until 
I get moved and I get to him, and I'm telling you, no, I got a lot of so it could be a year before we see him again. So he is on sale. Take full scale advantage. Okay. So what I had been forgetting to do is a Michael Kors satchel. The U.S. price is eighty dollars. So Canadian price. I'm let me write this down for my Canadian friends. That would be at a. Let's do. 110 instead of the full-blown 40 because the last couple of bags I did send to Canada only costed like $30, $33 or something. It wasn't a full 40. So today we're, we'll are we just do the 30. So the Carl will be a flat 100 for the Canadian customers. The Rebecca Minkoff. So you just add 35 So the recommended top would be 110, the half moon would be 95, and so forth. Okay? So $35 shipping today. We're going to do that for our Canadian, which is just add it when you go to, just to, uh, to pay for your item. Now, to save on that, um, they've, been, they've been weighing them and going by weight. So don't be afraid. You can get up to three bags for that $35. So, take advantage of that. I mean, they're, I sent a big old satchel over there, and that cost me, that one cost me $40. But we're talking a Dooney Smith satchel. Probably six pounds, man, you know, to send that over. So, but the other, I sent the, uh, the green, oh, it was the green Patricia Nash. So, that one just come up on 30 so I had the USPS like send the customs other and I did not want um, her to have to pay to pick up her bag. I wanted to go straight to her door, and we'll see how that works. Cause then I gotta tell USPS they owe this this woman ten dollars because I left it with them. So we'll see how that works out. I hope that works out. Cause I like to be able to email people and say, oh, you know, the rest of the money went to your Canadian import personnel people so honestly i don't know how that works but on general um the other bags didn't come all the way to 40 so we're just gonna do 35 30 35 i'm fine so i, I don't want to charge you 40 dollars and it not be that you know i'm not about that so i'm not gonna do that the next bag i have is another badger rehab. This is beautiful. My, oh, I should have stuffed it a little better. He's scrunchy. He's scrunchy. Beautiful Michael Kors bag. This one doesn't have any running. Running. Doesn't have any rubbing. Beautiful black pebbled leather. Gold tone hardware. Okay. And it's got three compartments, and I've got it stuffed to the gills, of course. Gave it a good clean, hence the clean towels. So this back one doesn't have any pockets or anything. The front one doesn't have any pockets or anything. It's just a big old pocket. No, I forget what it's called. Oh, I knew. And then I forgot. I'm telling you, I forgot. I forgot. I'm falling. Middle has your Michael Kors. It has a zipper pocket. And open, two open pockets on one side. On the other side is two more open pockets. So you got four open pockets. And it has a key finder. No key holder. So it opens way up. And it's big, thick pebble leather, lots of hardware, but not real heavy. It sits real nice on my, sh and I got a medial arm, and it sits real nice. Beautiful, beautiful bag. So this one took a good week as well of cleaning. It was covered in something sticky. I, I don't know if, 
they allowed their child candy or what have you. It, it, it seemed to me like it was lollipop and what have you. Um, it took a bit to clean up. So all the interior had been turned inside out and thoroughly cleaned. So, some antibacterial cleaner. So we got it happening. It is now gorgeous. I'm, I'm super stoked about how this bag turned out. Pretty proud of this one. So this is pretty good. It's got magnetic snaps. I love the gold tone hardware against the black pebbled leather. It's thick. It's substantial. It's got the rolled arms. Beautiful, beautifully made bag. So if you're looking for a black everyday handbag, grab and go. I got you covered. So this bag shipped to your door is $70. If you're Canadian, we're going to go a flat hundred. Okay. 70 US, 100 Canadian. That doesn't sound fair, does it? I am so sorry. <laughs> Just don't sound fair. Brand new Michael Kors card wallet. Beautiful. Still has the little thing in there. Never used it. What am I going to do with this? I don't know. It's just tiny. But it is brand new. It is Michael Kors. I scored this today. Brand spanking new. I couldn't believe it. So we're going to go 35 on this. And, of course, shipping is free. If you get something else, I'll just throw it in there. Beautiful. Beautiful little Michael Kors card wallet. So that's 35 Unfortunately, for the Canadian people, that comes to about 70 God, that just sounds so bad, doesn't it? So, yeah, this will probably go into an envelope. So... It's 35. Let's go flat 50 if you're interested and you're in Canada. Okay? We'll do that. Because I, I can't... If this can go into a little envelope, um, I can just write you a big old long letter. <laughs> Show it right in there. I will send that off. So, $50 to Canadians, 35 US. I hope you're liking that. Um... You know, I'm extremely happy that these lovely people from Canada enjoy my videos and enjoy spending time with me. He's Ziggy, he is really upset. He can't go out back. I don't know what he did, but he ruined that fence. He found a way out, and he's running all over the neighborhood barking at people, being a little Ziggy monster. So he has to wait until Mama stands outside with him, and he is not happy about it. Isn't that right, Klausie? <laughs> so, the reason for the haul is this. I love bark, bark, I love barking. Anyway. <laughs> I love bark here. Um, I think the leather's beautiful. I love Libby skin. I wish that they would get the recognition that they deserve. I have for you brand new tags. MSRP is $288. Back here in New York. This is a... This is, yeah. <laughs> Didn't even unwrap the little hang tag. It's a brand spanking new. It's pink. Light pale pink. And it's got it's like a zipper detail. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's super fun bag. It does have a strap. So the crossbody little hooks are inside. But look at the inside. It's a, oh, I'm going to get this off. It does have a dust bag, too. These are brand spanking new. The inside is a metallic purple. Like, a, well, a metallic lavender. It's unlined. On this side, you have a zipper pocket and an open pocket with the Botkier logo. 100% leather. Oh, so nice. Snap top closure. 
so it will snap closed. Nice tote bag. I love the zipper detail. It's really kind of cool. It's like zippers all the way around it. Even on the handle. So your crossbody is included. And your Bot Care New York. <sighs> Bot Care New York. Dusty bag is in there. Let me put all this stuff in there because y'all know me. <laughs> Brand spanking new with tags. These are expensive, beautifully made bags. They don't get the love that they deserve. I have a beautiful, big old thick pebble back here backpack upstairs. I have him taken it. I, I take it out and I clean him and I make sure he's gorgeous and then I set him back down because he's beautiful. I don't want to mess them up. I think I got that one. I think I got that from Adrian. Beautiful back here leather tote. And if you're not into pink and you like it, I've got it in like a taupey brown. <laughs> exact same bag. The inside of this one, though, is silver. Okay, it's your back here dust bag. Here is your crossbody. Metallic silver on the inside. Same deal. You got your back here pouch, back here logo, zipper pocket. It is the exact same bag. But in a different color. Because I seen they had, I like the pink, I had the pink, and then I was like, hey, I want the, the tote too. Give me, give me, give me. Why not, man? You're outsourcing. Get what you can get. Beautiful zipper detail. Here. Brand new attacks. So both of these bags, I'm letting them go, 95 each. That is a steal of a deal, 288 retail, 95. It's 135 if you're Canadian, if you're Canadian people, to have it shipped to your door. Nope. Okay. Last but not least. Big O. Beautiful. Brand new with tags. Back here. Tote. Zipper front pockets. And they are functioning pockets. That one goes all the way down. Big thick leather. I already had it open. <laughs> Here you go. Double handle. This has a magnetic step. Step. It stabs. Magnetic snap closure. Here's your little dust bag. There. Get your zipper pocket. Get your open. It's just got two card slots. And this is blue metallic in there. That neat. Really cool. Okay, get your back here, a tag here. Big old tote bag. <laughs> Perfect size for me. Some of you would think that was rather large and in charge. I love the metallic on the inside. So this bad boy retails for $298. So this one I'm going to do for $115. And if you're Canadian, it's going to be $145. That sounds bad. Canadians had to pay more. No, it's just, I like to add, for those of you just chiming in, 
what price I give you is what it's going to cost to get to you. So when I'm saying it's Canadian, for, for my beautiful Canadian customers, that's all it's going to cost you to get it to come to your door. It's, you know, $145 U.S. Brand spanking new. I wonder if you see too many too much back here in 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 Canada. I'm not sure. I don't know. I know somebody was telling me about how coach is hard to come by, and it's and when you do, it's ultra expensive, and what have you. So what I will do as soon as I can, um, as I'm moving along, I will be pulling some of my dad's stock, some of my um, coaches. And I will do um, an, an event um, at a discount rate. I did that once before, the all coach $25 sale. So with the exchange rate, that'd be what for you guys? 45, 47, or, or what have you. Um, I did that once before. And I and those things uh, were Mark sold because they were called in a live event, but they were never paid for. So I actually still have these items. So, if you are interested in that, let me know. I know to have a blowout sale, my American lovelies would be like, woo, yeah. But I mean, it, it, an opportunity I'd like to be able to offer you guys some, you know, some coaches and some things like that that's, not, you know, hard to get in Canada. Um, so, yeah. Let's get you guys some coaches. Let's get you guys some buck air. Let's do it. Get you some Hobo International. Some, you can probably get Michael Kors. So, I do that. And then I have my restoration bag. Some of them come up really nice. Some of them, you know, if they don't, I sell them as is and what have you. But it's pretty exciting. I'm getting a lot of love from Canada. So, I appreciate that. So, I want to return the favor by... Sending them love. So, everybody from U.S. and Canada, love y'all. Told you it was a small, a small, you know, haul because it's now three o'clock, and I got more pain doing, and then I have to be on shift tomorrow for it. Sucks. So, and Ziggy Dog is is really upset. <laughs> he can't get out the fence. So, right, Ziggy, Ziggy, come here, come and say hi. Come here and say hi. He's not going to, but that's Klaus. That's the big German Shepherd having himself a little wine there. <laughs> come here, Jack. Klaus, come here. Now, Klaus will come and say hi. Come here, Klaus. Come here. Oh, you're going to Don't come that way. That's where the purses are. Come over here. Come here. He's going to come that way. Come here. Come here. <laughs> There he is. Oh, he's going to run off. <laughs> Come here, Classy. Come here. Come. Oh, he doesn't want to be on camera. I think he knows what I'm doing. Higgy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see if you guys can see them or not. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's Matilda. Anyway, everybody, U.S. and Canada, love you all. Stay crazy.